we doing, everybody? Long time no see, huh? Sorry, <clears throat> it's been a minute since I did a jig video, but <clears throat> man, I've been busy, busy, busy. Uh, grandbaby been here this weekend. I've been jacking one of these daggum jig heads, y'all, that I gotta get straight. Oh, Lord. Anyway, <clears throat> so... Look here, I know you see this in my vice. My daughter was here, and she said, Dad, we got to come up with something for Christmas. Anyway, y'all, she come up with this, and she named it. Uh, it is the Grinch. Check it out, y'all. I don't know. Probably may buy that sucker, y'all. It is a good-looking jig. It's just made with that uh, chartreuse round head. It's a, uh, it's a one eight head. Uh, it has the green and red New Age Chanel. I just doubled it up. That's a New Age Chanel. And it has a green, uh, got a green bucktail, synthetic fiber. Uh, and then it's got the clip, yeah, it's got the clear flash of boo over the top of it. Then it's got the uh, green and red flash in it. Look at that, it's a good looking jig, huh? Anyway, that's my daughter's design. She come up with that. She was pretty proud of that. So I guess we'll make a few of those. Actually, she put it out on Facebook, and uh, within a few minutes, she had um, some of them sold. So that was pretty good. But today, y'all, we are going to do <clears throat> this one here. I call it a shiner, y'all. And look, I got something. I'm going to start doing this so that beginners uh, going to not change the way I do things. I'm just going to explain it a little different. And I'm going to show everything that I use. So this right here is Protect Paint. It's just in a different design. This actually come from TJ's Tackle. Protect Paint, y'all. And this is the Disco Seahawk. I actually like the way they do it. When you order from them, it comes, you know, they mark it on the top. So it's already been painted. This head has already been painted, y'all. We're using a wedge head. Um, this is a 16. Look at the shine. Look at the color and the flake in that, y'all. That's why we call it the shiner, y'all. But it's actually the Disco Seahawk color. Well, that's pretty. All right. Now, we may have to adjust our vice a little bit. That's crucial, y'all having a good, good vice. Very, very crucial. Uh, you can, you know, for beginners, you know, you don't have to spend no ton of money. I got one behind me there. Uh, you can get on Amazon and you can, they make several different ones, you, you know, but I mean, I, I understand a lot of people don't have, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars to throw at a vice, you know, especially when they first start out, but you know, get you, you need a rotary vise, you know, get on Amazon and they probably got 200 different styles, um, different brands, just get you a, a, a good road, you know, just get you a rotary vise and check it out. A good thing about Amazon, hey, if it ain't right, if it don't work, send the sucker back, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> another thing, you know, good quality thread. Uh, I use a damn real thread. Uh, you can see it right there. That's 210. Dan Bill 210. Uh, you don't want to buy that cheap thread. Save your money up a little bit and get you a good bobbin and a good uh some good thread. Uh, when I say a good bobbin, they I've got hundreds of them here, y'all. They make them, you know, like this right here. With the little rubber ears on them, that's what holds your thread. Or they got them, you know, with the brass ears on them, all right? Sorry, let me, I just want to show everybody the difference, all right? See that? That rubber and the brass. That rubber right there to me, y'all, it sticks on that daggone spool of thread. 
and I just don't like it. I mean, I, I, you see me use them all the time, but I prefer that, uh, you know, the brass one. Uh, and make another thing, make sure that it's rolled. You see how that's, it's rolled at the tip right there? If it's not rolled or it's not flared out, it's going to cut your thread. Uh, they make some lined and some that are not lined. Let me show you here. This one has a porcelain liner in it. See that pink porcelain liner? To where this one doesn't have it. You see that? That porcelain liner, that also keeps it from cutting your thread too, y'all. And it just depends on how much pressure you put on it. I promise you, it will cut your thread. But for one thing for sure, you want to make sure that it is rolled or it is flared at the end. If it's not flared, that solid gun will cut your thread every time. All right? All right. Now that we got that through, let's talk about something else. This may be a little bit longer video, but I want everybody to understand. All right? They do make... And I'm going to show it to you. Matter of fact, I got one right here. I, I don't use it. This right here is all it's used for is to stick through your bobbin holder, uh, catch your thread, and pull it through. You don't have to spend the money on all that. Y'all, I mean, I'm, they have kits where it comes through. I don't do that. I literally push it up with my hand, just literally shove it through with my hand and pull it out the other end. All right. It's simple. You don't have to buy all that hot water stuff. You don't need it. So, you know, if you're just getting started into it, I'm trying to save you some money and tell you what you need and what you don't need. Some people may disagree with me. It is what it is, y'all. I'm just telling you, you don't need it. All right. Now, <clears throat> when you paint, also when you paint, you see that, that, how that paint gets down on that hook, that's not hurting a thing. As long as it is not in that eye, you're good. All right? So, we're going to start. You know, I, I get my little tagline there. All right? And we're just going to follow that tagline. We're going to make sure that we got a nice, even bit of thread right there. We're going to lay one, then we're going to come right back up, and we're going to lay the second one, y'all. Okay? That right there is exactly what you tie it into. That's what's going to hold everything to this jig. All right? So you want to make sure you got a nice, even bed. All right? Also, get yourself a good pair of scissors. I know these are all funny color, whatever you want to say, but, hey, they're great scissors, and they're curved. You see how they're curved? So when I get to my cut my body material, they're curved. I reach around the backside, and I, I can just get right up against that shank and cut, and I'm done with it. It's a lot easier than a straight pair of scissors. See the difference? Uh -huh. Makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> you can go to Hobby Lobby. You can get them online, Amazon, whatever. I got these particular scissors at Hobby Lobby. I probably got 50 pairs laying around here, but these are my favorite pair. I paid about eight or nine dollars for them. All right. So another thing, <clears throat> people do it different. It's all about personal preference, all about how you want your jig to look. All right. This flashaboo, uh, they make it in many different styles, many different colors. This is more like a braided flashaboo, right? This here is just straight. Uh, they make different sizes. You see, this is a magnum. It's one thirty second. That's the width of it. Uh, now, all of it is not going to be the same, y'all. All of it will not be the same. Some of it. Is going to be a little wider. Some of it is going to be a little narrower. Okay. Just want to show you again. That is a flash of blue magnum that I'm using. All right. <clears throat> Some people tie. They put their, their feather or their fiber or whatever down first. Then they put it on top. All right. I like to put mine down. Uh-oh, see, I had two. <clears throat> I don't want to use two, okay? I'm going to use one. <clears throat> the 
Me, myself, I'm, if I'm making jigs for myself, I like to tie mine before I do anything, okay? I'm just going to wrap it around, be just like a U-shape. I just literally wrapped it around that head, okay? Well, I'm sorry. I slammed my daggum thumb in the car door, <clears throat> so it hurts like a son of a gun. I was trying to keep him waking my grandson up, slammed it right in the door. Anyway, I just made a U-shape right around that head <clears throat> and literally it's holding against that thread, okay? I'm just gonna start wrapping. <clears throat> nice, even layer. And I'm gonna wrap that in, y'all. There's many different ways to do this now. <clears throat> this, me personally, when you're just getting started out, this is gonna be the easiest way for you to do it, okay? This is for beginners, y'all. That's exactly what I'm doing this for. Uh, now, they make, <clears throat> all this is, is artificial fiber, hair, whatever you want to call it. They, many different brands make it, many different styles. That's all it is, guys and gals. Artificial bucktail, okay? They have it in thousands of different colors. All right, here is a package of black, all right? There you go. This fake bucktail, artificial synthetic bucktail. Huh? That's exactly what it is. They make it in any color you can imagine. Pink, white, blue. I'm talking about thousands of colors. And it depends on which maker, what brand. That depends on how it's going to come. Some of, you know, it comes in a package. Some of it I've seen come on a little, like a little stock type deal. You've got to cut it off. You know, it really just depends on where you get it or where, shoot, I've seen it come from the same manufacturer and it'd be different, y'all. Anyway, mine's already cut, okay? And yes, it, it will make a mess. I'm going to show you exactly the length that I cut mine, okay? I'm trying to get this set. So the edge of this is zero, right? The edge of that is zero. You can see that's a little over three inches, y'all. That is a little over three inches of what I cut. it. Now, if I'm going for a... <clears throat> If it's going on a bigger head, like a 1 8 10, I will cut it longer, okay? I fold mine in half because I want a bigger, bushier tail, right? So, let's just say three inches. You're going to have an inch and a half. Inch and a half and an inch and a half is three inches, right? So, you're going to have an inch and a half. You're going to put it right up to the base of that head, y'all. That's gonna give you about an inch hanging off. All right? That's about what you want. With this fiber, it's a lot easier to tie, okay? You ain't gotta fight that feather because that feather's gonna move on you, all right? If you're tying with a feather, just put you some light wraps on there. With this fiber, it's a lot easier to tie with, y'all. You can really start bearing down on it as soon as you uh, put your first wrap on it. You know, but I what I do is I take me <clears throat> three or four light wraps and I start bearing, you know, put pressure on it. All right, once you get it tied in, we got to tie a knot in it. Wrap it around our two fingers, twist. One, two, three. Flip it around the front of your head. Bam. Look, all we did is tie a knot. All right? We tied a knot, y'all. That is it. All right, now, this right here, like I say, <clears throat> this is Splashaboo. All right, you can go on. <clears throat> I'm gonna, in the description, I will put the link where you go 
to buy this stuff. And they have thousands of different, not thousands, hundreds of different styles of this stuff, y'all. Uh, I'm going to take me, well, I'll show you exactly how long I'm going to cut it. Uh, I've been, I'll do this all the time, every day, y'all. So I know what, you know, what I'm looking at, where I want to cut it. But y'all may not. So I'm going to show you exactly the length I cut it on my little nifty little board over here. Okay. You don't want to cut that. You know, it's going to be a little bit shorter, not, not by much, <clears throat> than what you cut your your fiber, your hair, whatever. Uh, so you're you're looking about two and a half inches, y'all. Well, basically about two and a half inches, some of them two and three quarter. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> We're going to do the same identical thing. <clears throat> We're going to, I fold mine in half. It just gives you that extra. Uh, gives it that extra shine, right? You can do this before or after you put your body material on. I prefer to do it before, y'all. Uh, and we're just going to wrap that all the way to the base of our head. Uh, good tight wraps, y'all. The closer you keep the end of that bobbin to the shank of that hook. Oh, yeah, we're going to tie it again. You see me? I, I didn't mean to miss it. I just kind of got carried away. But <clears throat> we tied it off. What I mean is the closer you keep the tip of this bobbin to the shank of your hook, the easier it is to tie. Now, you don't have to make this extra wrap. I'm just showing you. All right. How easy it is to wrap around there, y'all. Boy, that's going to be pretty. That is going to be pretty. All right, now, this right here is New Age Chanel. Let me see if I got one. Here we go. They have it all kind of different styles. Comes from Barlow Tackle, y'all. You can get it from Barlow's, Nimrod's, Crazy Angler. It is just Chanel, okay? They have the Wooly Booger, and they have the New Age. Okay, let's see. Same identical thing, just a different style. That's New Age Chanel. That's from Barlow's, too. No, that's actually from Nimrod. You see on there? Nimrod's Tackle. Okay. This simply is a blue and silver. You can see that in there, right? See that silver fly? That's all it is. Now, some of these thicker Chanel, sometimes, y'all have been watching me, sometimes I strip it back, sometimes I don't. Stripping it back means I just strip that Chanel off down to the thread. When it's thicker, that's the reason I do that, okay? A lot of this new age Chanel is thicker, and I want to make sure that it's tied in 100%. I warranty all my work, okay? So if you have problems with your jig, you buy my jig and you have problems with it, call me up, let me know what happened. I'm going to send you a new one, okay? If you're doing this for personal use, you don't have to strip that back, y'all. That's just me. When something leaves this daggum desk here is going to be perfect okay i'm selling these to customers all right and the reason i'm telling you <clears throat> the reason that i do it is from fishing all right and i know that it will come apart all right i've seen it i've fished with it i've seen them come apart so that's the reason i strip it back down to that bare thread here's where your rotary vise comes in you can yes, you can wrap it around by hand. All right, you can get you a cheaper vise and do that. But this rotary vise is where it is, y'all. You see me using my vise. All right, I'm just rolling it around. All right, 
I don't like to put two or three layers of Chanel on there. I don't like to double it up. I want to have a nice, even body with one layer of Chanel, y'all. A nice, even body. All right? That is the goal. A nice, even body. Some people build it up with two, three layers. That's just not my style. I'm not saying it does not work. I'm just saying that's not my style. Okay, so when we get to the head, uh, all we're going to do, we're going to do two wraps. I've already did it, but it ain't going to hurt nothing. I like to build my thread up. I like to be able to see my thread, all right? You're going to do two wraps in the front, flip behind it. You're going to do two wraps behind, all right? Then you're going to go back in front, two wraps. Uh -huh. Once you get that done, you're ready to cut it off. You're ready to cut that Chanel, that body material off. Remember I told you them curved scissors come in handy? I can just reach up underneath there, bam, cut it, be done. All right. Now, we're going to use a whip finisher. You can get these on eBay. You can get them at Cabela's, Bass Pro. You can get them at... Amazon, wherever, get you a good quality whip finisher and be done. See what I'm doing? Grab the top hook, wrap it around right here. Design looks like a little upside down W. Catch it right there in that little lip. It's going to form a V or a four, however you want to call it. Hold it parallel with the shank of your hook and start wrapping. Normally about four times is good. You're tied in, right? Push the bottom toward the shank of the hook and pops off. Pull your thread, pops off the top. But like I say, I like to build it up so I wrap it more. Here we go again. Grab it on the top side of your hook. Wrap it around the little keeper. Here we go. Once you get used to it, guys and gals, you can whip it out fast, all right? Now, everybody has been following me knows that I like to build it up. I like to be able to see that thread right there. Them crappie do too, y'all. I got some videos, fishing videos coming out. One just come out, and I got a lot more coming out. And I'm telling you, it makes a difference, y'all. It really makes a difference. I'm sorry I'm trying to reach for stuff. My thumb is like killing me, y'all. Oh, I want you to look at that. I call that the shiner, y'all. That's a bad boy right there, I'm going to tell you. Crappie got to have it, y'all. Look, if you're a beginner and you want to learn to tie these jigs, tie flies, whatever you want to do, y'all, join this community i promise you you can ask anybody on this channel my followers has been with me since i started they will tell you i will respond to your message if you need help let me know send me a message heck i got followers that got my cell phone number y'all they message me i'm here to help i'm being dead serious i know it's kind of intimidating to get started but look you can do it and with a good jig maker that really wants to help, like myself, I'm not bragging, but I'm, I'm, I'm here to help, y'all. With somebody that's, that's willing to teach you and willing to uh, reach out and really help you, you can you can do it yourself, I promise you. I apologize it's a 25-minute video, but look, thanks. I hope you learned something from this. Look, take a minute, hit that subscribe button. And I promise you, if you will follow me, you will learn to make your own jigs. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. I guarantee I appreciate it, y'all. You don't know how much. God bless each and every one of y'all, and I will see y'all next time. Thank you.